Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Paul and this is my DJI Osmo Pocket 2. Okay, so full disclosure, I'm not a tech YouTuber, so I'm gonna spare you the nitty gritty of the specifics and the features of the Osmo Pocket 2, but instead I'm just going to give you my thoughts of using this device for about four months now. Okay, so let's just get these things out of the way, starting off with what you want to know. Now, this camera shoots at around 1080p, 2K, 4K, from 24 frames a second to 60 frames a second, with the exception of the 1080p when choosing the slow motion option, bumps you up, up to 200 frames a second. So obviously it's a gimbal, so most likely you'll get smooth shots all the way. This device has four mics in it, so it has one at the front, two at the sides, and one at the back, which actually gives good audio quality when recording. So you can purchase the DJI Osmo Pocket 2 by itself, or if you want, you can actually purchase the whole creator combo. Now I recommend you purchase the whole creator combo because it maximizes the capabilities of your DJI Osmo. Now, the accessories that you have here in the creator combo is that, well, first and foremost, you've got your cords here. Second, you've also got, oh, by the way, this doesn't come with a charger, so yeah. <laughs> you've also got your manual. You also have your DJI do-it-all handle, which I'll come up to in a second. Your wireless mic, and trust me, you are going to appreciate how much this is useful Hence why I recommend you buying the creator combo. You have a dead cat. Now a dead cat in the film industry helps you um, buffer out those wind noise. It helps filter them out. Henceforth, you can hear your voice better when you're recording at a very windy area. Now as well, you've got your mini tripod. This one actually folds up to be like this. When you're just purchasing the DJ Osmo by itself, you still have a few accessories here along with the kit. So you've got your DJ Osmo Pocket 2. You've also got your 15 millimeter lens adapter and I'll, I'll get to this in a few minutes. And you also have these two connectors. So you have one for the iPhone and one USB-C for your Android device. Now, how this happens is when you're about to upload your videos from the Pocket 2 to your phone is that you just need to snap this, snap this forward, and then just attach these accessories, whether you're an iPhone or you're an Android user, just attach that. And since I'm using Android at the moment, I can just attach this to the charging port of my Android device, turn on the DJI Mimo app, and I'm all set. So why would I recommend this device for vlogging? Well, it's so small, it's so portable that it can practically fit in your pocket. As well, it's so lightweight that you don't need to carry on a big rig camera just to do some vlogging. Now I know you can do all of these things mostly on your mobile phone, hence why the improved cameras on your phone. But here's the thing, my third reason why I love this camera is because Apart from it only has a high quality lens, this lens right here, but it also has a front facing screen, which is actually very good when you're vlogging. Because remember when you used to, when you, when you use your phone, you always want the highest resolution. Being said, highest resolution in the back camera. But the problem is, if you're trying to vlog, you can't actually see yourself, can you? And you also will be facing problems such as being in frame or being in focus or sometimes just different lighting, you know? So this is where the DJI Osmo Pocket 2 comes in. So with the front screen and with only one lens, you can only just see yourself being in frame and you can also find out if it's too bright for the shot or if there's too many shadows in the shot. Also, be able to smile and see how your smile is. 
right? Reason number four is it just shoots wide angle. If you're a travel vlogger and you want everyone to see where you are at the moment, it's best that you have a wide angle. Now, by default, even without the 15 millimeter wide angle lens, you already have pretty much a very wide angle. So video capabilities is not bad on the DJI Osmo Pocket 2. So right now, um, we're just shooting on vlog mode. You can see me here. Now, here is the view with my hand, uh, with my arms fully extended. Now, as you can see there, that's your view. Now, let me just attach this. This is the 15 millimeter additional wide angle lens accessory. So right now that's the 15 millimeter and this is without it. With it, without it. Now the fifth reason why I love this DJI Osmo Pocket 2 is not only that its mics are actually pretty good already for vlogging by itself. As you can hear me now, I'm talking to the DJI Osmo Pocket 2. This is my voice, mic test, mic test. And this is me far away, mic test, mic test. You can still hear me as well. With the creator combo, you also get this do-it-all handle. Now with the do-it-all handle, it turns your DJI Osmo Pocket 2 into a wireless device. Now here I have attached the do-it-all handle on the DJI Osmo Pocket 2, as well as screwing in the, the tripod accessory, turning this uh, wireless mic on and attaching it here. I can record myself from far distances without even worrying about touching the DJI Osmo. So this is what the DJI Osmo Pocket 2 sounds like just with the regular mics just uh, in front and the two sides and on the back. Now, let me just give you a demonstration of what this sounds like with the wireless mic. Now, I'm just gonna try and um, go further away and see if you can hear me. Okay, so this is when I'm talking regularly. I'm, try I'm just trying to converse with you right now. I'm not sure if you can hear me right now, but this is what you hear. Now I'm going back. Okay, so this is the DJI Osmo Pocket 2 using the wireless mic. So I am backing up now. I'm backing up. I'm not sure if you can hear me. I'm not sure if I'm frame. Um, if you can hear me right now, I'm just going to recite the alphabet just so you know how far of a distance this mic can go. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, I'm running right now. I'm quite far away from the DJ Osmo. I'm not sure if you can hear me now. Now, running right back. The good thing is though, if you want to show a beautiful view like this and you don't be, you don't want to be on the, in the way, it's best to have your mic with you because like I said, it does cover a huge amount of distance for you to do your vlogs. At the same time, show a beautiful view. So as I was reviewing the video, I noticed that there are a few mic drops while I was running, but the problem is the mic kept on moving around. So might as well advise not to run with regards to holding the mic on, but as you can see, the distance was astounding. Um, I think I was around um, a few meters, a few meters away. Now that being said, there's also a few things that grinds my gear with using the DJI Osmo Pocket 2. For instance, this 15 millimeter um, lens accessory with the DJI Osmo Pocket 2 sometimes pops off when I do my videos and it's so small that it's actually sometimes hard to find especially if you're if you're taking shots in grassy areas or even areas where it's just so cluttered it's hard to find these lens and it's pretty expensive to try and purchase another one of these secondly if you're trying to shoot a video of your child or your pet it's kind of hard to try and keep them on frame. It's very hard 
to try and chase them using a panning motion while you're just standing around because if you try to chase them on a panning motion the gimbal won't be able to keep up so your subject might be off frame while you're trying to catch up now it's possible to do a chase video if you're shooting either from behind or if you're shooting from from their front end with them either coming towards you or going away from you in that linear vertical uh, vertical motion and lastly and probably my biggest gripe of all is that you already have a wireless do-it-all handle why oh why DJI is this wireless do-it-all handle only good for your wireless mic I wish I can attach this or I wish I can use this wireless do-it-all handle and use it on my phone. So I would appreciate if this do-it-all handle could wirelessly connect to my phone seamlessly without even buying an extra accessory. If you just have this on a selfie stick and then just make the adjustments on your phone down here while it's so high, then it'll be pretty easy to just make those shots possible for you. Okay, so that being said, Will I recommend this DJI Osmo Pocket 2 as a vlogging device? Well, I've been using this for 4 months and so far it has not disappointed. Now even with its small caveats, if you're basically doing vlogging then this is the camera choice for you. Besides being small, portable and light and also discreet, it's a very good camera to use all together. Anyway, thank you very much guys for tuning in. If you like this video, click the like button up there, subscribe, and also hit the bell icon for any more future notifications. Until then, I'll see you on the flip side. Okay, you know what? Let's get some drone shots. Yee.